my Tubies, my TikTokers, and my Twitter, Sheila True Love here. If you didn't know and no one sent you the memo or no one told you, guess what? We're not coming. <laughs> and I'm talking about those friends who always want to invite you out at around, what, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. You know, you get off work, you're tired, you worked yourself to a bone. You know, I did, yeah, uh, we're not coming. Once you hit like 40, 45 years old and up, yeah, I'm usually in my bed by 8 o'clock rubbing my feet together. <laughs> I have to get up too early to get to work. And, I'm you know, I'm good from 5 in the morning until about like 7 o'clock. That's when I start to wind down. And unless I'm already out, like I'll go any place. If you call me up and I'm at the office and you say, yo, Sheila, let's go out. I want to do this. And I'll, I'll do it as long as I'm already out. But once I get home, <laughs> and you know what? I'm not the only one who feels this way. Check this out. Hey, all right. Can we, in 2023, um, stop inviting us 40 and over folks out on the late night? Can we stop doing that? Because let me tell you something. If you didn't know, I'm going to put you on notice. We're not coming. We're not coming. <laughs> we are not going out the house or leaving the house seven, eight, nine in the evening, especially on the weekday, on purpose. We are doing that intentionally. Look, we're at a point in our life where we have to choose whether we want to go out during the daytime or the nighttime. We got to pick and choose when we want to be tired. And having to work all week, that's choosing to be out during the daytime. We ain't coming out at night. So if you call and asking to meet me here, meet me there, 8, 9, 10 o'clock, put you on notice right now. We not coming. <laughs> we not coming. We not coming. <laughs> Point blank period. That's where we at. <laughs> <laughs> like he said, honey, point blank period. Like I said, I have no problem hanging out if I leave straight from work. But once I get home, I am so not in the mood to put back on my clothes, put my makeup on, fix my hair up again. That's just not going to happen. And then when you think about the wintertime, it gets dark around what, 530? So I'm already in my house, you know? I'm usually in my house like 530, 6 o'clock. Sometimes I take an Uber. I may get home early. Sometimes I leave work early. You know, that's the beauty of my job. I love it because it's flexible like that, you know? It takes something very, very important and something very special to get Sheila True Love out that door. I mean, that party better be popping for real, for real. And and I have to have a guarantee that I'm going to meet some very, very interesting people who can, I don't know, add to my life, make my life better or something. <clears throat> now, there's times when I will go to a fellowship meeting. Sometimes it starts at 730, 7 o'clock, but that's usually on a Friday. Friday nights are good for me. Saturdays are good. Sundays, that's the day that I spend with me and Jesus Christ. That's my very spiritual day where I read uh, everything spiritual. I have my Christian meeting. I have my Bible studies. I do my ministry. And that's a very <clears throat> special day. But like Mr. Man said, honey, <laughs> we're not coming. Bye. Have fun. Bye. <laughs>